join us for a chance to win in tonight's Halloween Trivia. In the movie Zombieland from 2009, the character Tallahassee has a deep love for which snack food? Is it A. Twinkies, B. Skittles, C. Cheez-Its, or D. Pop-Tarts? Think you know the right answer? Leave it down below in the comments now for a chance to win a $100 gift card. Now that this is the church, there's a cross in the front of that building. Yeah? And why are the lights on? A mannequin looking out the window, it's kind of creepy. Right there. See? Oh, I see. Did you go upstairs? There's so many scratch marks and claw marks all over this shit. As soon as I said it's shh, shh. It's weird. It's fucking weird. It's like a hidden underworld. Yeah. Under this, like, church. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, dude. Something just slammed in here when we came upstairs. You heard it, right? Yeah. During the beginning of this season, we traveled to a string of locations in the northern part of the United States. One of those places was a small town in Wisconsin called Jericho. We received a few emails from another paranormal team telling us about an old Catholic church which is believed to be haunted. The church has been abandoned for nearly a hundred years. However, there are a lot of things that are still unknown about this location. Information on the church's history is very vague online, and we kind of went into this investigation a bit blind. We do know, however, that this area does have some history of abuse towards minors happening within the local churches. Whether or not this particular church was one of those locations is yet to be determined. But what we found going into this investigation was enough to make the hairs on the back of our necks stand up. This is a bit of an extended episode as the property was so large it took us a while to explore the whole location. However, here it is. This is the church. There's a cross on the front of that building. Yeah? And why are the lights on? Uh, I don't know. We're supposed to be the only ones here. He said that he would leave the door unlocked on the building that we have access to. Maybe it's just on a sensor or something. Yeah, maybe. The one on the left is the one that we have access to. Yeah. Let's see what we got going on. When we arrived at the building, it was super old looking, broken windows all around it. Oh, look. Fucking mannequin looking out the window. It's kind of creepy. Oh, fuck that already. Yeah. All right, let's do it. One part of the building was this huge church, but we didn't have access to that side. We only had access to the left building.
All right, let's go. Huh. Oh, it's picking up the, uh... I just turned that on, that was me. Okay. So first and foremost, any location that we go to, we try to do a thorough walkthrough and see if we could capture any kind of EMF spikes to let us know what areas of the building have activity actually happening in them. Some skeleton readings in that left closet. It's like bouncing all over the place. Is we said this school room was one of the more active rooms. What are we picking up here? You seen that? Look. Very vague, you see it? Something trying to flash like sitting in a chair. Yeah, it's like right around there. Well, why is there locked here? Let's keep an eye on that. Let's see. Oh, what? Oh, man, it's crazy. Look at that. The whole place was like full of really old portraits and we all these stories and all these other pictures from early 1900s. It's almost like he was trying to draw our attention to the chair, right? Mm. What is this? 1776. It's just a print of... Yeah, that's like a... Declaration of Independence. Yeah, it's like a replica. Crazy. What is it I'm saying? It's something over here. Something over here is getting attention. Looks like a lot of people sign their names. Maybe people who did uh, paranormal investigations before us. Oh, check this out, look. Hey, this is the other area. It was picking up readings. And oh, there's wow. another. Yeah, this is where it's kind of going nuts on the beeping. If there's someone here with us, you can approach this device. It'll make a noise, let us know you're here. We definitely feel you in here. What we got out here? What we got downstairs, upstairs. So I guess uh, maybe there's a basement here, subfloor. Old There's bathtub. so much old stuff in here. It's fucking freezing, I'm not even gonna lie, but that's not paranormal. Turn it's around. Crazy. Let me see your breath. Oh my god. What about me? Yeah, it's like fucking 10 what degrees up. <sighs> this yeah. is as cold as I've ever it's been. It's fucking 10 degrees outside right now. A cool room. Bunch of weird shit. If there's anybody in here present that would like to communicate with us, you could. What is that? You could show you. Oh, kind of got. No, I was trying to outline that table. All of this stuff belonged to someone at some point. Well, this used to be like a. Uh, private school section or something, you know? I thought he mentioned that like that... Sunday school or something? I thought there was a nunnery. Didn't he say there was, like, nuns' quarters? Oh, yeah, he did say that. So the nuns must have lived here? Either that, if, like, it was a Catholic school or nunnery or something. Yeah, they must have. Hang on. We're getting a uh, reading right in front of us in the middle of the hallway. Right there. See? Somebody's present with us. Can you come closer? Can you light up this device in my hand? You said the top of the stairwells and the landings were really active as well. Weird how it goes away when you get close though, you know? Mm. You don't have to be afraid of us. We're not here to cause you any problems or not trying to harm anybody here. Wall 
was fucking awesome out there. Ugh. Rat shit everywhere. Look at this. What? Oh. Is this your leg up there? It's like a little dead bird. Poor bastard. That means there must be a nest above us. Oh, yeah. Way up there. We see things kind of as omens, like we've gotten accustomed to running into bats at locations, and we kind of see bats as a good thing at this point. We look at bats like we're in the right place, right time, like there's definitely some activity going on, but to find anything dead on a location, uh, we look at it as not a good thing. Oh. Is there anybody that would like to Talk to us through this device. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of weird shit up here, man. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, dude, did you see that shit right there move? Something moved. Oh, dude, there's a bunch of weird shit up here, man. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, dude. I don't know what it was, but it looked like the whole tarp just sunk. When I was following Casey up the stairs, I hear like this rustling movement of some sort. And because of where I was at on the landing, I don't think I got it on camera, but Casey got clear as day something that made the tarp sink like it was standing underneath it or like something was like waiting f for us to show up and it moved or we startled it and then it moved I don't know did you see that no I just heard it oh dude there's a bunch of weird shit up here man oh what the fuck hey dude hello hello what the fuck was that dude I don't know, dude. It, something moved right here in this area. It looked like the tarp kind of like dropped or something. Was it the wind? I don't think so. It looked like it was like almost like someone standing underneath this and then it just dropped. Are you trying to get away from us right now? You don't have to try to get away from us. You could come close. We're really not here to harm you. Did you hear that? Right above us. You heard it, right? Yeah. It's like a tap or something, right? You don't have to try to get away from us. You can come close. We're really not here to harm you. Did you hear that? Right above us. You heard it, right? Yeah. It's like a tap or something, right? Did you go upstairs? What is that? I'm getting shit grabbing onto, uh, someone's grabbing onto that sign right there. That's the old, is it the sign? School, church school sign. Morning worship. Ooh, look at this. Youth fellowship. Got some old pictures oh, back wow. here too. Is it one of you? Yeah. Immediately. As soon as I said it's shh, shh. Is that a step? By far the craziest thing about this building was all the auditory evidence that we were getting. Is it one of you? Yeah. Immediately. As soon as I said it's shh. shh. Is it one of you? Yeah. Immediately. 
as soon as I said it, shh, shh. Is that a step? Is there a way to get up there? I think we're on the top floor. Unless there's more stairs. Well, this goes down. No, Harry. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, no. I'll take a peek. I'm gonna put my foot at the bottom of this elevator. Or the ladder. Yes. Yeah. Put some forward pressure on it. I got you. that before you stick your head up there. There's like a rat or something. On, oh, it's a fucking big ass pigeon right there. Really? <laughs> yeah, you see it? No. Well, that's not what was making fucking footsteps, I'll tell you that. Hello? There's a difference between crawling in an attic to get evidence and crawling in an attic to just breathe asbestos and catch a disease. So we decided not to do that part. I don't know, there's too much shit up here. I'm not going up here all the way, but uh, some nasty pigeons living up in the roof. I didn't see anything when I just panned around. I keep thinking I'm hearing that move again. Really? All these windows are closed though, so that's... Hey, you know what? Let's go, uh... Let's go get our uh, EVP recorders, mm -hmm. our digital recorders. Go in this room and that room. And let's run the Ovilus and um, do some, like, sound monitoring. Okay, before we grab the um, the digital recorders and shit, what's down here? No idea. Another dead bird here. Mm. Just falling left and right. Oh. It's fucking cold in the further down we go. I mean, it makes sense. But yeah, it's pretty fucking chilly down here. This is when the episode got a little bit strange to me. What's in here? Hello? Oh, what is that? What the fuck? Is it a tunnel? It's a tunnel, but there's like a weird toy in there. Like a little bird toy at the end of this thing. Oh my god, no way. Yeah. What are the chances? We found a little tunnel. Well, why are we keep getting led towards birds? I don't know. Dead bird, well, dead kids in the attic, weird bird toy. Yeah, fuck it, let's see. Watch out, there's nails coming out of the ceiling over here. Okay. Don't stand up all the way. Where the fuck does this lead? Well, uh, let's try. It's a tight squeeze, I mean, well, you lead the way. All right, this is gonna be tough. Fuck it. Oh, oh shit. All right. Oh. I decided to crawl through it to see what was on the other side. I was claustrophobic going through there. I'm coming to right behind you, so. All right. Oh shit. Why am I in here again? Oh. Fucking tight squeeze in here. Watch out, 
talk to this wire right here, because I don't know if this is like... Okay, here we come. Oh. Here's the bird. It was almost like a hidden underground, I don't know, like bunker. Just a bunch of rooms on the other side of the tunnel. It's a wide open area in here. How you doing, bro? I'm good. You gonna, you gonna hang out there for a sec? Yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out the best way to get through here. Let me see what this is. Hang on. Okay. Hello? Hey, Casey. Yo. Don't go too far in there. I don't even know where, the, what, if this is like part of the same building. There's a lot of rooms and shit. What do you think this table was used for? I'll be right back. Oh, there's stairs here. A lot of toys. just a series of weird rooms. And there was even this room that had like a weird blanket hanging. It was all concrete in there. Hey Colt, can you hear me? There's a weird room over here, bro. All right. You good? Huh? You good? Almost. Need a hand? Huh? Need a hand? No. Ow. Yep. Fuck. Oh. Hey, that's the MVP right there. You know how hard it is to crawl through shit like that with that? Whew. Good shit, dude. Hey, check this out, man. Look at this. Where was it? First of all, I don't know what this table right here was used for, but it's kind of weird. Well, first of all, where the fuck are we? I don't know. It's like... A different sub basement section, but look at this shit. Look. Oh. Where'd they just Oh, used fuck for? no. Yep, there it is. What? The little blood drain. Oh. Yeah? It was used for something. For no, we've never out. done for That's for sure. Right? Yeah, hey, look, wait. I just want to show you this other spot. I just saw. And look at this room. There's stairs too, but. I think the stairs just go like up and outside, but here, check this out. Wait, not, oh yeah, it is in here, look. Look at this, dude. Tell what? me how fucking weird this is right here. I think we should definitely run some tests there, but look at this room. Oh. It's almost like someone's like a little secret hidden entrance with fucking curtains and shit. And, and you go in here. I already stepped in here. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing. It's just like all concrete and fucking the window boarded up. It's just a fucking empty, hollow room. Like, what the fuck? It's like a dungeon. Yeah. What if they were keeping someone here and just... Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's fucking weird. What is up with these people that run places like this? I don't know. I really don't. This is weird, too. I like, just off, off the window with nails and cords. 
want to see uh, what part of the building we're at? If we go up those stairs and outside? Yeah. The strange thing to me is just like, you wouldn't expect there to be a whole different area, you know what I mean? It's no. like a hidden area. I'll go up first. All right, go ahead. Watch your head. When we arrived, we were unsure of what parts of this property we were allowed to investigate because two of the buildings they said were not available for us for whatever reason because they're all in the same state as the one building we went into. There was like three or four lights on inside the house. And we're like, there's no electricity on any other part of this building. There's no anything. I don't know why these lights are on. Is there someone living in here? Hello? Hello? Oh, dude. What if this is the other building? This is the, this is the second building, right? We had just found an underground passageway between two of the buildings and made our way into one of the buildings that we actually didn't have access to. This is the, this is the second building, right? We weren't even close to Shh. I heard like a cabinet close, literally in the room right next to us. We weren't even close to Shh. Hello? I swear to God, something just slammed in here when we came upstairs. You heard it, right? Yeah. I think that I was on edge most of the time because I didn't know if maybe there was somebody uh, there. Maybe there was somebody living there. So we went in very cautiously saying hello. It felt weird. There was like a heaviness in my chest. All the lights were on. Uh, there was this one room with a couch in it. There was a dining room table. It almost felt like we were in somebody's house. It's running. This is running. Dude. To transition from this large abandoned Sunday school and now it feels like you're in somebody's house. Really, really unsettling feeling. You think that you're responding now? I saw her. You saw it? Yeah. 
Yeah, they would, they would have responded, right? Yeah. Hello? Are you hearing things? Like I thought I heard something shuffle or something. Did you hear that or not? I thought you shuffled behind me up the stairs when we were first walking in. You, oh yeah, you did say that. I swear to God, I said never mind. Yeah, like my head is playing tricks on me or something right now. Huh? This is a weird ass bathroom, dude. Got stairs. No way. Yeah. Okay, this feels weird up here. Going up to the attic in the second building, the second I walked up in there, I had this like sickening mixture of like anxiety and nausea start occurring. Hold on a second. My heart just started pounding. It's like a big clearing. There's a tennis ball up here. Yeah, dude, I'm not really feeling super good up here. This is just a weird attic or something. Bro, is this like a piece of a girl's ponytail cut off right here? What is that right there? No idea. Looks like hair though. I do feel what you're feeling. It's heavy, right? I'm not feeling super stoked up here right now, dude. Oh yeah, this most definitely is the um, building with a little cross on it, I think. God, I wish there was a tunnel that got into that. I don't want to close. Maybe there it is. Whoa, watch yourself. Is it all ice? Yeah. Yeah, it's her, man. Okay, so we went from there underground to here. So we gotta figure out what else is downstairs over here. Oh yeah, because we just stopped downstairs and we saw that uh, tunnel. That tunnel, but we didn't know the other one. I gotta know, is that like some sort of dungeon they would take like yeah, I don't know. kids to or Weird. people to or? Sure. Watch your step. Yep. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, because why would they have a secret passageway from there to straight to that weird dungeon thing down there? Yeah, I don't know. It is weird. But you know what? We got that door unlocked. Let's just run down real quick. Okay. I want to see what other rooms are down there. And then we'll get our shit and we'll go over to that other place. I didn't see this before. <clears throat> Bunch of kids' toys. Oh. Huh. The pews are like people kneel on. They're like Catholic See, that's church. what's making me feel weird about down here is like, look, why are all these doors like padlockable or made of steel? That is weird, right? Why? 
Oh yeah, look, all of them are, huh? Yeah. Oh dude, there's so many scratch marks and claw marks all over this shit. Look at this. This is like someone scratching to get out right there. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. Look, it's day. all over. Every single doorway was covered by a rolling farm door, big steel, just had dents and scratches in it that padlocked to the cinder blocks. Why would there be doors like this underneath a... Catholic. A church. In a nunnery, right? In a nunnery. What's the reason for that? Why would you have sliding steel doors that you can chain and padlock to concrete Unless you were trying to keep something in there or keep something from going down there. Careful. This wire is open. I don't know if that's hot or not. You see this? fall out of a nest. There was a little dead bird in there as well. Maybe an animal dragged it down, maybe a person took it down, but I don't know what kind of person would pick up a baby bird fetus and bring it into a bomb shelter while they're doing a paranormal investigation. No. Why is that there? Why is there random pictures of fucking Elvis there? Yeah, they are. What is this room for? I think this is a bomb shelter, dude. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Do you think so? Yeah, it did mention on the website they had a bomb shelter in one of the things. But look, those right there were shelves. Probably where they had like tons of like canned food or, you know. Yeah. Prepared for the fucking apocalypse in the Catholic Church. I just want to know. Look, maybe, maybe an animal, like maybe a cat, mm -hmm. dragged it down. But if not, why was that put there? Yeah. Why is that in this room? You know, that's the third dead bird we've seen, we've seen since we got here. What's in this last room over here? I don't know if that's the last room, dude. Oh, no. There's another entrance way over here. Okay, no, that's just going back upstairs. Yeah, but there's also this. Hang on. Sure, yeah. Bro, I'm gonna say something that might be really horrible, but it's just, you might have been thinking it too. But like, I don't know, there's a kid's book over here. There's a what? A kid's book? Like, do you think that? I mean, I don't wanna say this, like, you know. This has been here for like over for sure, I, I know. Yeah, it's becoming a thing like, yeah. over the past while where people cannot ignore it. This didn't feel like what you would expect to find underneath the church. This felt like what you would expect to find in like a concentration camp. Anymore. So you got, you got a basement that has like steel fucking lockable doors with big ass bolt locks, scratch parts all over the door that are only about three feet high. Tiny hands. For Tiny sure. hands, three feet high. An adult would be scratching up here, right? Uh -huh. But you got scratches like mid door. I'm thinking that that's exactly what was going on here. That's just gross. Like, yeah, and especially what a what a great cover story. Oh, it's a bomb shelter. Yeah, right. Sure it is. I mean, we've heard stories throughout our entire lives, dude. You remember? Like, it wasn't that long ago they made, you know, hitting you with a ruler illegal. It wasn't and, that and, long and, ago. And here's another thing. 
this tunnel that we just went through to the other like nun house or whatever with all the fucking like that room with the curtains in front of it and it's all concrete like you know everything I mean? it's like a hidden underworld yeah under this like church yeah weird bro and also in that house it's just some little cut that looks like there was a door that yeah. was ripped off yeah because they didn't want obviously when you come into a place like this no one's checking the closet under the stairs so what a great place to put a tunnel yeah you know not to mention why else would you need it unless you're trying to secretly transport someone small enough to get through there I don't know Whoever's in this building, are you angry that we're here right now? Is it you that was hiding underneath the tarp? Do you have a name? Are you a child or an adult? How old are you? We weren't getting a ton. We probably did 15 to 20 of these. And then all of a sudden we hear these strange whispers coming through one of them. We came across a room upstairs that had a bunch of chairs uh, kind of in a circle position and we didn't know maybe there was a group that was there before us that tried to do some testing in that room, not really sure, but it looked like a cool room so we went ahead and set up the yes no prism in that room. Basically all you need to do is stand on that side of the room and come close to this device if you'd like to light it up green. If you'd like to light it up red, you come on this side of the room and get close to the device and it'll light up red. That's the way that we can get your answers right now. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Do you want? 
want to communicate with us. Were you walking above us earlier? We heard footsteps. If that was you, can you come close to the device? Huh. I think we should have. Yeah. Good time. Do you like it when it's quiet in here? When there's nobody here with you? Would you rather be alone? Do you want us to leave? Would you be more comfortable if we were separated? If it was just one of us and not two? Maybe it makes you uncomfortable having multiple people in the room with you? You can tell us. That's a hard yes. Yeah. Would you be more comfortable if we were Separated, if it was just one of us and not two, maybe it makes you uncomfortable having multiple people in the room with you. You can tell us. That's a hard yes. Yeah. I say we we'll try. Yeah, let's do a. Uh, let's do some solo stuff. Okay. You said you got a weird feeling down in the basement. Yeah, I'll take something like the obelisk or. Okay. Anything, just like to sit there and see. Yeah, no, I think this is a good idea. As soon as you get some clear words come through, I yeah. want to um, that other little weird house. Mm -hmm. That room with the couch felt weird to me, so I want to sit in there because I heard a lot of noises when we were in there the first time. Mm -hmm. And I want to do a, a live um, EVP listening session. Like, okay. remember how we talked about turning the uh, sensitivity on the shotgun mic up, and I can mm -hmm. monitor it live. Yeah. I want to sit in there and see if I can hear anything coming through. Okay. When Colton and I decided to split up, he was in the first building in the bomb shelter area. I was in the uh, smaller building, I guess, the house. I wanted to do some live EVP sessions. So basically it's the same concept as using a little digital recorder asking questions, but it's turning the, the volume on a microphone up insanely high and listening with headphones so that you could hear every little tick in the house. Whatever was making noise when we first came into this side of the building, can you please make another noise? Let me know that you're here with me right now. So I went into this room that was literally completely made of concrete. Like the entire inside was just dried, thick concrete. And allegedly this is supposed to be a bomb shelter. But to me, when I look at what was the the evidence in the, in the construction in there, it looked like something was definitely on the wall. I don't know if it was like a rack or a shelf or maybe, God forbid, some shackles of some sort. I don't know. But I did the ovulus session in there. Can you tell us your name?
And I was getting a lot of random words, but then I was getting some really strange, sinister, intense words. Are you religious? Were you one of the Catholic? That's not good. You can say anything you want. Hopefully this will capture your audio. There was a few random ticks and knocks around the house, but there was a few times in particular that I felt like I got a direct answer. Knock once for yes, knock twice for no. Maybe we could communicate like that. Is that possible? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Why did you just say that? Why would you say that? That should not be present here. Is there something about this room that would trigger you to say that? It was about that time that I hear this loud noise down the hallway. And I knew I was alone in that room. I knew I was alone in the entire building. Casey's in that other building through a tunnel. Like, we were completely separate through each other. In that setting where you don't know where anything is, you just hear stuff moving around you. You guys can see through the infrared what was going on. That's not what it looked like to me. All I see is the top little red light on the camera and everything else is pitch black. Did you just make that noise? Watch. Watch what? Help me understand why, how you're trying to communicate with us. Are you just going to continuously move things and not, not show yourself? Oh, for sure, this place has got something going on. A lot of things couldn't be explained in there. There was movement that we captured. There was voices that we captured, knocks and ticks. I don't know if it's sinister. I know there's a lot of dark history, and the more and more we hear about nunneries and old churches like this, we start remembering that not all of the stories have happy endings in that realm. I just felt like we were never really alone the whole time we were there. I felt like there was just something following every footstep that we took and just kind of toying with us the whole entire time. This is one of those places where I don't know how it exists, where it exists, what its purpose was in total, especially in the area of the state that we were in. But somehow this place came to be inhabited by some very strange energies, very strange entities, very strange presences.